When I cried to the Lord, he heard my voice. He rescued me from those who attack me. And trust your cares to the Lord, and he will support you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Prompt our actions with your inspiration, we pray, O Lord, and further them with your constant help, that all we do may always begin from you and by you be brought to completion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Today I have set before you life and prosperity, death and doom. If you obey the commandments of the Lord your God, which I enjoin on you today, loving him and walking in his ways, and keeping his commandments, statutes, and decrees, you will live and grow numerous, and the Lord your God will bless you in the land you are entering to occupy. If, however, you turn away from your hearts and will not listen, but are led astray and adore and serve other gods, I tell you now that you will certainly perish. You will not have a long life on the land that you are crossing the Jordan to enter and occupy. I call heaven and earth today to witness against you. I have set before you life and death, the blessing and the curse. Choose life then, that you and your descendants may live by loving the Lord your God, heeding his voice and holding fast to him. For that will mean life for you a long life for you to live on the land that the Lord swore he would give to your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. King of endless glory. Repent, says the Lord, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, The Son of Man must suffer greatly, and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. 
Then he said to all, If anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. What profit is there for one to gain the whole world, yet lose and forfeit himself? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, now that we are in the Lenten season, we've passed Ash Wednesday, we're in the second day of, of Lent, we look to, of course, the readings to direct us. And here at the beginning, we're given something, I think, very simple in the first reading. If you want eternal life, if you want to receive the promises the Lord has, has made to you, if you want all of these things, obey the commandments. So we start there, but the commandments we recognize are only just a starting point. We know that they do not in themselves bring us life, but they're a starting point. They're a guide. They help us to decide right from wrong. They help us to keep on the right path. So they're a starting point for us. Jesus goes further with this in the gospel today, though. It seems that it is not a good enough thing to just follow the law. It says, if anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself, take up his cross daily, and follow me. We can't preserve our own lives. We can't do that. That's not within our own capabilities. We have to rely on the Lord. And our reliance on the Lord means imitating him, it means doing as he has done. So we take up the difficulties of the day. We take up these things and we ask the Lord to help us. We, uh, we make the sacrifices of Lent these small things that we do, abstaining from meat on Ash Wednesday and on the Fridays of Lent. We take this time so that we might know the Lord, that we might be connected with the Lord, that we might do these things to remind us that the Lord is a part of our life. And in that way, we move in ways that are good and holy. We uh, seek the Lord's help and wonderful things can happen as a result of that, including the forgiveness of our sins and eternal life. So here we are just at the beginning, basic things, keeping the commandments, taking up our cross. May the Lord bless our efforts in this way. May this celebration of the Eucharist strengthen us in following him, in taking up our cross. May we never lament the difficulties that we have, but instead turn them over to the Lord, nail them to the cross, and seek the Lord's gracious help. And so let's pray. Uh, we offer the Mass today uh, in loving memory of Tara Lackey. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We have so many people to pray for. Um, I'll just uh, go through the list then. Praying for comfort and healing for Sherry Riley, Annette, Dan Branch, uh, Jerry Brower, Anthony, Kitty Spurrier, Mary Prock, Jean Marr, Rick, Ricky Maines, Jane Benedetto, Mary Beth Frosco, Iris Campbell, Carl and Peggy Abachowski, and Joe Lusk. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. I pray in thanksgiving for a negative test uh, for COVID. And so we will be having uh, in-person masses this weekend. Um, if you have been called um, and uh, responded, uh, we, uh, we uh, plan to have those masses this weekend. Of course, weather permitting, that may be the other obstacle. So we, uh, we uh, thank the Lord uh, for this, uh, uh, for again, this negative test and uh, for the opportunity to resume our celebration of masses in the church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Uh, 
that the Lord would protect those who are oppressed and marginalized, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we can't help but pray for those in Texas and throughout the country who are suffering as a result of this winter storm. We pray that uh, they may receive the assistance that they need and uh, that uh, the weather would subside to a point where things could, uh, could get back to normal for them and uh, repairs could begin. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O God of life, we don't always see how we turn away from you. Reveal where our choices are leading us and keep us on the path that leads to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Regard with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings we set upon the sacred altar, that bestowing on us your pardon, our oblations may give honor to your name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by your gracious gift each year, your faithful await the sacred Paschal feasts with the joy of minds made pure, so that more eagerly intent on prayer and on the works of charity and participating in the mysteries by which they have been reborn, they may be led to the fullness of grace that you bestow on your sons and daughters. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many 
for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Peter, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Joan of Arc, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please make your spiritual communion with the Lord Jesus Christ. Create a pure heart for me, O God. Renew a steadfast spirit within me.
Let us pray. Having received the blessing of your heavenly gifts, we humbly beseech you, Almighty God, that they may always be for us a source both of pardon and of salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Almighty God, who have made known to your people the ways of eternal life, lead them by that path we pray to you, the unfading light. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.